there is a typical two-in-one gymnast dip variation that doesn't only make your chest and shoulders bigger, but will perfect your muscle-up technique. However, you most likely don't do it. This exercise is the Russian dip, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you all you need to know. Oh yes, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the gymnast type Russian dip, which is in my opinion, the original Russian dip with the upper arm support. I know that many people teach it with the forearm support, but if we take the gymnastics approach that has a long history, we can see that the Russian dip is performed with the upper arm support. Since gymnasts can benefit from this the most, you will see why. So, the Russian dip is a unique gymnastic strength exercise which has many benefits. If we talk about aesthetics that is important for many, similar to the regular dips, this works your chest, shoulders and triceps. And there are a few extras. For example, the time under tension is longer during the Russian dip, since there we do four steps instead of the regular two. In the regular dip, you descend to the bent arm support from the straight arm support and push back yourself. But in the Russian dip, you descend to the bent arm support, lean back to the upper arm support, push back to bent arm support and do the dip to the straight arm support. These are the four steps. Not to mention that thanks to the upper arm support, you work on your chest and lats in a different dimension, which is definitely a new stimulus. I'll talk about that in the progressions. This exercise is useful in gymnastics for the forward uprise and keep on the P-bars. It helps to train the muscles involved in these movements and builds technique. For us who don't compete in gymnastics, it also helps to perfect and fix the right muscle up technique, which is not that important for gymnasts. So this is just an extra, back then maybe unknown transfer effect, since gymnasts don't do muscle ups in their routines, they focus more on the other elements, but this is only my guess. Regardless, it's gonna be really useful for you, especially if you do chicken wing muscle ups, because the Russian dip will help you to fix that. When you will do the transition from the upper arm support to the bent arm support, you'll basically do the same forward lean that you need in the muscle up. On the other hand, while you're doing this, you'll bring your elbows next to your body, which is a key moment to avoid the flared out elbows and chicken wing muscle up, However, in this movement, it comes naturally. So just to summarize, you can build more muscle thanks to the new stimulus and the longer time under tension. You can perfect your muscle up technique for both rings and bar muscle up. You can build good narrow muscular connection, not to mention learning a new technique, which will help you in other exercises if you wanna go wild. What else do you need? Now, let's see how to build it up. I have to mention the prerequisites, which my OG viewers probably know big time, but we need to disclose that, thinking of the new viewers. The upper body prehab is a must. Wrist, elbow, scapula, shoulder and core preparation. You can find dedicated videos about these in the prehab series on the channel or the full program and series on the link below. The basic strength requirements are the push-ups and dips. You can also find tutorials and strength test videos about these in the basic series on the channel. If you got all these, you can get into the following progressions with confidence and get the best results. Let's see the progressions. The first step is the Russian push-up. Yes, you need to start on the floor to get familiar with the four-phase movement. This is also a good strength check before you jump right into the dips. You won't be able to imitate the same exact movement that's true since you can't do upper arm support on the floor, but the main goal is to learn the right rhythm. You can do the Russian push-ups in kneeling first, then in the regular push-up position. You need to pay attention to the key points of the regular push-ups that you can find in one of my previous videos. In the Russian push-up, the first stop is the bent arm position, the second stop is the plank position when you're stepping or sliding back and supporting on your forearms, the third stop is the bent arm position again, and the fourth is the starting position. This exercise is important in terms of the Russian dips because you will have an idea how to move back and forth from the bent arm position. This is similar in both exercises to some extent. Here, even if you're stepping with your feet and help a bit to get back to the bent arm position, you can get an idea how you'll be able to get there in the Russian dip. You need to start a dynamic push and pull with tight core in order to arrive to the bent arm position. You'll get this the best possible way if you slide with your feet and you don't help with them. Practice this exercise and if you can do 8, 10 smooth reps, step to the next progression. The second progression is the upper arm dips. With this exercise, you can get used to the most uncomfortable part of the Russian dip. The upper arm support is a weird, uncomfortable position in the beginning. It can give you some bruises, if not here, then in the following progressions. But don't worry, you'll get used to it. This movement will work your pecs and lats in a whole new dimension. In fact, 
This is an easier progression of the iron cross. In the upper arm dips, you do the same movement and use the same muscles as in the iron cross, but with a very short leverage since you support on your upper arms. This is just a fun fact, but originally this position is a basic support on the P-bars in gymnastics. There are many elements where gymnasts go through this position during their routines. But for you, it's definitely going to be a new load which will bring good results. Place your upper arms on the P-bars and grab the bars in front of you naturally. The most important thing is to grab the bars with your thumbs as well. Your upper arms should be in line with your elbows looking to the side. Do dips in the biggest possible range of motion. Follow the movement with your scapulas, depress on the top and let them elevate at the lower end point but don't lose them completely. If you can do this movement with confidence, you can do more explosive reps since you'll need to be dynamic in the Russian dip. The goal is to do 15 controlled reps. The third exercise is the leg assisted Russian dip. Here, you need to do the same exact movement of the final progression, but only with the fraction of your whole body weight. This is going to be easy in most parks or at home on your deep bars, since those are not too high. The right execution is the following. Get into the straight arm support on the P bars. Descend to the lower end point of a regular dip with parallel upper arms, with your elbows looking backward. Here, you can already support on your legs. From the bent arm support, you need to lean back, moving your elbows to the side and arrive to the upper arm support. Follow the movement with your hands and let them slide to the side of the bars with keeping your grip. To start the pushback to the bent arm support, do a dynamic upper arm dip while you lean forward with your upper body and drive your shoulders above your hands. This movement needs to be so dynamic in the rear Russian dip that you need to be weightless for a moment in the transition. Once you arrive to the bent arm support, push up yourself to the straight arm support. This will be the right technique, which will be way easier with the leg support. If you can do this movement with confidence and you feel like you're ready for the Russian dip with the rubber band, step to the next progression. The fourth progression is the Russian dip with elastic band. Here, you need to do the Russian dip more freely, but still with less intensity compared to the final progression. If you want to do it with the most gradation, use a stronger elastic band and start with only negatives in the beginning. Like that, you can try the movement, how it feels like to get into the upper arm support. Place the elastic band on the P-bars below your hands and jump into the straight arm support. Bend your knees and place your legs on the elastic band. Do a few negatives and if you can do the eccentric phase with confidence, try the concentric phase as well. This might take a few tries since this will be your first real attempt, but if you completed the previous steps, you'll feel it quickly. Don't forget, the stronger elastic band you use, the easier the exercise is. You can also practice only the transition itself if you want to get better at that. If you get stronger and feel the technique, you can switch to an easier elastic band. If you can do 5, 10 reps, you can move on. The final progression is the Russian dip. Before you jump right into it, you can also do negatives so you can experience how it feels to arrive to the upper arm support without help. If you got that, you can also focus on the transition and practice that. It's actually pretty good to do those as reps and memorize the technique. If you're unsure in the beginning, support with your legs when you arrive to the bent arm support. If you got the technique, you can max out the benefits with the whole exercise. Getting to straight arm support on the P-bars. Descend to the lower end point of the regular dip with parallel upper arms with your elbows looking backward. From the bent arm support, you need to lean back, moving your elbows to the side and arrive to the upper arm support. Follow the movement with your hands and let them slide to the side of the P-bars with keeping the grip. To start the pushback to the bent arm support, do dynamic upper arm dip while you lean forward with your upper body and drive your shoulders above your hands. This movement needs to be so dynamic so you can be weightless for a moment in the transition. Once you arrive to the bent arm support, push up yourself to the straight arm support. 5 reps are considered a great number of this exercise, but you can go up to 10, even 15 reps. Personally, I really like this exercise and feel the extra benefits. I'm sure you'll experience the same and I hope you'll like it with all the benefits I've mentioned. Use the Russian dips as a pushing option in your workouts, especially if the muscle up is on your bucket list or if you want to fix the chicken wing muscle ups. If you want to build up a shredded physique like gymnasts have from zero, following my thorough system, just click the link below, sign up today and get access to all of my programs, tutorials, series and much more. I can also help you personally in the private community in the live Q&As. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did so, please like, share and write a comment what do you want to see in the next videos. If you don't want to miss the new videos, subscribe with notifications on and see you next week in the next video.